Hey everyone, Justin Ward here with Invisible Fence Brandon Del Marva with episode 29 of our daily vlog. Make sure you check us out on social media, get in any questions, comments, or arguments you might have. We would love to hear from you. Today I'm going to talk about types of breeds with Invisible Fence Brand Solutions. There's absolutely no breed out there that we can't have on Invisible Fence Brand Solution or any breed out there that we cannot train. Um, now, with that being said, there's different dogs with different behaviors, even, and this goes for cats as well, there's different cats out there that have their own personality and behaviors um, that might not work best for training purposes. So, um, with that being said, we got any kind of breed out there that you can imagine. I mean, there's just so many of them, I can't even think of them that they don't even come to mind. Um, but our major ones are Huskies, Rottweilers, Shepherds, Great Danes. A lot of people don't think they work best on the visible fence, but actually they, they do. Um, I mean, I, I've had my fair share that have their personalities where they're, they're more challenging than other, but again, that's in the breed itself too. So you definitely have your different breeds with different temperaments and behaviors that are going to be well um, beneficial towards the training aspect of it. It also depends on how they're raised. So um, you can go into households where um, each training session and channeling of behaviors is different. So uh, it, it really comes down to their personalities, how well they're going to work on Invisible Fence brand and how much you're actually going to work with them on training them to understand to turn around and come back into the yard or when they see a distraction that they're understanding the concept of the, the, um, the, the collar itself. So um, you really want to work with them. Um, the biggest thing is putting in the time and effort. That's why I always say you want to spend at least three to six hours a day with your pet working with them one-on-one -on -one for them to understand it no matter the type of breed. So again, there's no breed that we can't uh, train to the Invisible Fence brand. Uh, and there's different breeds, like I said, it, it comes down to their behaviors so on whether it's going to work or not and how much training is involved in it. So um, I always get customers, especially at home shows, they come up and say, what breeds don't work on the Invisible Fence brand? And it's absolutely not the case. I mean, again, I can't even think of so many breeds and a lot of cross breeds now that are um, coming out. Uh, they, they work just as well on the Invisible Fence brand solution. So I challenge you to do your homework. Um, with Invisible Fence brand, it's all about trial and error too, getting out there and understanding the pet before we actually go further into the training and stuff like that. So once we understand how we're going to work with that pet, then we can customize, customize our solution to your pet. Follow us for more.